I had a personal thing with uh, Gallagher, Alderman Gallagher, about the <laughs> location of the, the police station <laughs> right across the street from the Center for Black Studies. And I told him, you know, over and over, I understand where you're coming from. I don't want you to see where I'm coming from, even if you don't agree with it. Just see that everybody don't think like you think we're privileged. You know, it's different. Yeah, woohoo, la ha, you'd be happy to have it. But as African Americans, we walk up there and see it, it's like, oh, so now you got the police station right by the center of Black Stairs, what you gonna keep a good eye on us? You know, and now you come in and you want to get off early, you want might want to pull over and start harassing somebody trying to go into the center. That's the way we look at it. You know, and they had an incident about the uh, uh, the, t the, the phones when guys were using their phones to uh, record what the police were doing, right. and it happened at McDonald's. Yeah. Four guys that I know, students, they had just left the library and they said they were going to McDonald's, so it's four black men in a car going to McDonald's. They drove into McDonald's, police pulled in behind them, they didn't see them. And they were paying for the food and they were saying something and the guy told me, he said, that guy look, waiting for you guys. And they turned around and saw the police. So once they got the food, he pulled up then and told me, when you get your food, pull over to the side. And so they got their food, he pulled over to the side. So he started questioning about, you know, other thing, they recorded. One guy recorded, he snatched his recorder, and his brother was in the back seat. So he recorded, and they took both of them to jail for, uh, I forgot the name of the lot of them. Uh, he's dropping, yeah. he's dropping. It was mostly for, <laughs> for drugs, you know, for drugs, when they got drug convictions and stuff. But they made him go to court, so I went to court the last day of court. It was a felony. So they was getting, trying to get to drop a felony and in order to get the felony, they had to apologize to the police and then write a, a written apology to the police and then they dropped it down to misdemeanor. And right now, the, uh, oh man, ACLU almost uh, to the point where they, they're getting ready to overthrow it. And their cases is one of three cases across the nation. There's one in New York and one somewhere else because there's only three states in one America in that has this law. And Illinois is one of them. Hmm. Is that the, the it says you can't record the police? police. Yes. yes. Yeah. Talk about transparency. But they can record you when they pull you over. Well, does Ray have permission or to even if they don't us? pull you yeah. over? Talking you about getting video that. record. You know that. Yeah. You can video record. That's them, what I You can't audio record. Them. Correct. Hmm. Is that right? It's, it, and somebody Correct. tried to overrule it. You know, tried to write, rewrite the law, and it didn't make it. And I, I don't real, realize all the details. I know I had a car with tin in it, and they was always stopping me for it because it turned colors and all that. This something I bought that I like, and they pulled me over, and I just carried my camera and I taped them. They always tell me you got to turn off the sound. Mm -hmm. I said it's off, and I just record them, yep. asking for the badge number, look at the badge number, recording everything. And you just Illinois let me is a, go or something. Illinois is a mutual consent state. There are some states where if you're either party to the conversation, that's enough. But uh, Illinois is a mutual yeah. consent. Would we want to have a program, Justice in DeKalb? Yes. Program? Yeah. I or think there's another program. person we need to get to know in the community other than the new uh, chief, and that's the new editor. And I was uh, deeply mm -hmm. moved by the paper two days ago, three days ago. And I think that uh, it's a sign that the new editor may have a conscience too. Mm -hmm. And as you may have seen the two black pictures at the top of the front page of the two criminals, and then below they had the fit. They had two young children, uh, grade school, a white and a black, smiling, reading a book out loud to each other. And then below that they had uh, two blacks and a white, or two whites and a black, uh, younger uh, girls uh, with great smiles on their their faces at a program, and. Remember when we were concerned that there was no blacks in, in the paper at all, and if they were, they were only criminals. All I could think of, this is the new editor. And the new editor, as you may know, has come from a sports background and really hasn't been trained as an editor to know what he's supposed to do. Maybe, so maybe he's really... <laughs> How long has so, he been there? Oh, a month, a couple of months, isn't it? A week. No, well, they had it no, in the They said no, no, Kate no, Sharp no, was going to be the editor. Is, now she's gone, and this guy's not going to be any good editor. But I think we, I don't know if any, has anybody Just tried, to, has anybody tried to get to know the new editor? I, I called him, he sounded nice. Good. I wrote a letter, but they never published my letters. <laughs> really? Well, talk to John Almer. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll show you how to write it. He's never. Derek, what's up? 
Uh, good discussion, everybody. Um, anybody have anything else they wanted to share? Just, uh, just one. If you go, there's a site called signon.org. If you want to start a petition, you, it's on the Move On site. You can start your piece of uh, petition. I don't think there's one out there right now. But I mean, it might be. Uh, I think it gets a little bit more notice if you get somebody, you know, like a, up the feeding chain a little bit. Like, uh, I don't know, you know, Durban, on down, just go down. You know, they can sponsor a petition. You can sponsor it. Any, anyone here can go and start a petition. We can have a township vote. Oh. <laughs> 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 We have gone before council before, but it was always when we had Steve Capitan right. as a I said township. councilman to bring it up. Township, I said township. Oh, township, we, we did sorry. That. That's a referendum we, thing. We, yeah. We had a township for the residents. And we got and it passed the law. on the ballot, didn't we? And then they changed the law. Dad, uh, yes. one, what Jane Ann said a while ago is something that I think you need to take it hard that we have to live with the redistricting for 10 years. And last time I got elected to the county board during this election 10 years ago, where everybody is up for election, and they tried to um, you know, work it out so that there wouldn't be any Democrats elected or it would be very quiet. We got the most gain we had had and for the last 10 years, it's been going back 11, 13, 12, 12, 13, 11, back and forth between Republicans and Democrats as well as majorities on the board. So their redistricting did not really do what they were, the Republicans were hoping. Well, see, though in this case, I, that's a good point, but in this case, we should remember it was the Democrats that did this. <laughs> the no, redistricting. County oh, yeah, county. county. No, no, but I mean, I'm talking about the... Republican the, county. Right, no, I'm talking about uh, what Jean Ann brought up about the district. About that district. Oh, that district, yeah. yes. So but it was the Democrats you're... that created that district. But the point, well, yeah, okay. So but the reason they did that was so that there could be more Democrats in the 14th district right. for Foster. Foster. So. Yes, but sometimes you don't get what you, what really you look for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, that's a very good point. Though. Well, for the county perspective, anybody who's been around even as short time as I have since 88, the county is changing. They're trying to forestall a change that's already happened. Demographic is changing. That's why our dear chair of the county board was so rabid about his redistricting. They know they're losing it, and that's why we have to make sure we get people out. And even those undecideds and those borderline folks who may call themselves independent to get into the polls and get votes. That's how we change that. All right. Meeting adjourned. Sure. Meeting adjourned. I think somebody said meeting adjourned somewhere. Yeah. It takes precedence over everything else. He's not in his chair. He's standing in the hall talking. The chair's out here talking. No. Oh, yeah. Adjournment takes precedence over any other motion. <laughs> <laughs> We have overthrown the chair. <laughs> yes. Second. All right. Roll call.